all right so this i felt it coming i felt you, you like, i don't know how many of you used to listen to that that's that um that beanie siegel song i could feel it in the air but it's it, it's definitely interesting to actually see that it actually just like played out so last night during the um the 2022 nfl draft the ravens traded hollywood brown to the arizona cardinals you know they traded him for the 23rd and the 100th pick in, in this draft you know obviously with the with the 23rd pick they picked you know um tyler lindebaum so i think i think um like that was a good idea i wish they would have just got him at 14 but you know at the same time getting still as long as, as long as they got him then I, I still think that could um be worthwhile i don't think the ravens really had a plan for what they're trying to do once they got rid of hollywood i, I that's just my opinion but I, I again I hey who knows again EDC hasn't done enough for me to actually trust him despite how many people are saying you know silly things like in EDC we trust I don't think he's done enough to earn our trust like like they've made a lot of bad decisions they've made a lot of decisions that just haven't worked out in the draft like a lot of y'all don't like Patrick Queen anymore but guess who drafted him a lot of y'all it's only been one year and y'all gave up on Odafe Owe guess who drafted him I, I think Odafe Owe is still gonna work out even look, I even think I'm not even that big of a Patrick Queen fan. I still think Patrick Queen could work out, or will work out. But again, we'll see. But, but yeah, man, um, Hollywood wanted to go. Like it, this, this situation was inevitable. At the end of the day, like they weren't gonna pay him. I just made a video, and, and even if they they were considering paying him, we, we, again, were you guys comfortable with a scenario where you paid Hollywood twenty five million a dollars a year, more or less? Because that's something that would would have ended up happening. Like I just did a video, just a few days ago, uh, about that, about saying just that. Like, hey, are you guys ready to to pay Hollywood twenty five million since y'all don't want to go secure an elite, like an elite receiver for that same price that you could get right now? Because even even if you think Hollywood is like average or or, or third tier receiver or, or whatever or whatever, at the end of the day. Like, that's the type of money he's going to demand. That's the type of money, essentially, all receivers are going to start demanding. Because, again, the, the, the amount of money they're getting is getting higher and higher. And it's not coming down. It's not going to come down, man. So, like, at the end of the day, it, they would be way better off just going, getting DK Metcalf or Debo Samuel. And just paying to, to, to paying that 25, 20 to $25 million and securing one of those game-changing type of receivers right now. Hollywood wasn't a game-changing type of receiver. He he just wasn't. You know, um, Lamar, he sent out a post on social media where he was like WTF and, and blah, blah, blah. Like, you know, posts, you know, just letting people know he's going to miss, you know, his friend. And, and, I mean, it is what it is. Do I think he was that mad about it? Probably not. I, I would assume not. But I I don't know, man. But, it, I, but it's still, at the end of the day... They knew this happened already. Like they, this deal was worked out days ago. They just announced it, to, you know, on the draft night that because they felt like waiting. But um, now that Hollywood's gone, now that Hollywood is gone, they're gonna want, I guess, a, if if they sit on their hands again and don't actually go out of their way to pick somebody, you know, valuable up to replace him just similar similarly to how last year they got rid of Orlando Brown Jr. and all pro tackle and then just sat on their hands and didn't actually go out and try to get another all pro tackle which again obviously that's easier said than done but they still didn't even try to do it you know similarly to how that happened last year if they try to do that again this year I guess that would put it put us in a position where you know Bateman's the number one De De Devin Duvernay's the number two and I'm assuming Tylen Wallace would be the number three because I think he would easily jump past James Proche regardless of how many Ravens fans are just m madly in love with James Proche you know but but it is what it is but then again I don't know maybe if you know if they do draft George Pickens in the second round maybe that really ends up being the replacement so again we just gotta kind of just wait and see Will um will Hollywood work out in Arizona? Maybe you know I mean maybe, maybe it could be a better situation for him you know because at the end of the day it's gonna be a situation where he's going to a team where he has no choice but to accept that he's not that guy 
see on the Ravens because they they're so bad at picking receivers. They're so bad at drafting receivers, and they and they're typically so cheap when it comes to acquiring elite receivers. I, the, Hollywood was in a position where he was basically the number one by default, and he's not really that guy. But now he's going to a situation where you have no choice but to accept that somebody here is just on another level and, and you can't compete with them. And that's DeAndre Hopkins. Like, you got to be the number two there. It could still work out just fine. There's nothing wrong with that. But it's going to be, you know, interesting to see, you know, how that works out. Plus, he played with Kyler Murray in college. So I'm, I'm assuming they probably still have some chemistry. So it's going to be interesting to, to it's going to be interesting to see how that works out. But, you know. Hollywood again for you know, I, I don't know if any Arizona Cardinal fans are watching this but again Hollywood if, if there are any Cardinals fans who, who happen to watch this look are you getting much with Hollywood not really like not really because look Hollywood he's not a big enough playmaker to be a number one his hands aren't consistent enough to really be like a, an elite number two like he doesn't you know he doesn't fight for, he doesn't fight for yards after the catch like he just like he does the same move every time after he catch in short yardage he does the same move every time after he catches the ball where he does this weird almost like almost like he he's kind of tap dancing like it, it, like some like a weird sort of movement before he drops to the ground like a dead fish and you know every time because you know whenever he does that move it just it never works so you know he just doesn't fight for extra yards you know like he just doesn't like ever like he he's, he's a He's, he seems to be more of like um, somebody said somebody else said it best. They said he's like a more of a finesse kind of player instead of like a gritty kind of player, and that, and that makes sense. That's a good way to summarize him. But it's like if you're gonna be a finesse player, you gotta be like the best, best, best finesse you know finesse player. You know don't you know like you gotta be that type of player where it's like like you're you're basically just like slippery. Like nobody can really get their hands on you. You just always just somehow just avoid everybody and still you know get extra yards. And Hollywood's Hollywood's not that guy. He's not that guy either. You know, his biggest attribute is just, like, um, running on deep passes, you know, like, because he's just, you know, obviously he's really fast. And, again, you know, with all with all the attention that's going to be on DeAndre Hopkins in Arizona, that's pro- that might be all they need him to do. That that might be. You know, they got Rondell Moore. I, I like Rondell Moore, but I, I don't follow the Cardinals too closely, so I don't know how Cardinals fans feel about Rondell Moore. But, you know, hey, maybe that's all they want Hollywood to do is just to be that deep, you know, just to be that deep ball option. You know, when, whenever they got double teams or, or triple teams or whatever on DeAndre Hopkins, he, he could just be streaking up the field wide open. And, hey, maybe it could work out. I, you know, again, we would just have to wait and see. But, you know, let me know what your thoughts are. You know, how do you feel about this trade? Um, what, what are your thoughts on as far as Hollywood leaving? You know, I, I personally, um, I didn't hate Hollywood. I was obviously, I was rooting for him. I was one of the few people who said that or who before the season started predicted he was going to, you know, get a thousand yards this year. But also, I didn't really, I couldn't, as much as I was rooting for him, I couldn't, I couldn't be delusional about what he was, you know, like he was just, he was just too inconsistent, you know, like, so that's why this to me wasn't that surprising. But, you know, let, again, let me know what your thoughts are and, and how you feel about the trade and if you feel like this is a big deal or not. And who do you think they're going to want to replace him you know, and fill that gap. Like, who, which player, either on this current roster or who do you think they they're gonna acquire, you know, in in the, in the near future to to replace him after that.